All right. For those of you who are paying attention, how many baseball fans we got out there? All right, good. Uh, for those of you who raise your hand, hopefully you'll find what I'm about to say interesting. Uh, for those of you who didn't, I apologize. Uh, but hey, everyone likes to laugh, so I think you guys will like this video. Unfortunately, getting hit by a bat at baseballs is not always a laughing matter. Um, according to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, from 1991 to 2001, 17 people have actually died by bat at baseballs. And out of those 17, eight were hit by aluminum bats, and only two were from wooden bats. Uh, the other seven, they were unreported, so we don't know what the bat was. But since more were uh, caused by aluminum bats. This has caused a controversy about which bats should be used in baseball. Um, and I've played baseball my entire life, so obviously anything involving baseball will probably interest me, so that's why I chose this topic. Um, and it's a controversial topic that is, uh, arose in more recent years as players have become stronger as they get older and bats have become more powerful. Um, and I plan on educating you all about the two types of bats, uh, which are obviously aluminum and wood. Um, I'll approach this controversy by uh, presenting both the pros and cons of these bats, and I'll first analyze the advantages and disadvantages of aluminum bats. Uh, I'm going to then move on to wood bats, obviously, and hopefully you guys can uh, see the difference between the two. So let's get started. Aluminum bats were first introduced in 1970 by the company Worth. Um, they have become more popular over the past 40 years because they're newer and they obviously work better uh, than wood bats if you know uh, anything about baseball, I guess. Uh, they're used at almost all amateur levels of baseball from little league all the way through college. And there's several advantages about these bats. Um, aluminum bats are lighter because they're hollow and therefore you can swing them a lot easier and they generate more power and force. Um, they also don't break like wooden bats do. Wooden bats break pretty easily, but it's obviously going to be really hard to break a metal bat. Um, and also, a lot of people argue that aluminum bats are make the game more exciting for both the fans and the players because adults don't want to just sit there and watch a little kid try to swing a wooden bat and hit it two feet because that'd be boring. Uh, also, there's a bigger sweet spot on an aluminum bat, which is the area pictured here. It's like right here. Um, so it makes it easier for you to hit the ball good and clean. Uh, and when a, the ball is hit off an aluminum bat, it has a trampoline effect, so it seems like the ball is jumping off the bat, if you've heard that term before. Aluminum bats also have uh, many disadvantages, though. They can crack or dent or experience metal <laughs> fatigue. Uh, I actually bought a $200 bat uh, my senior year, and it broke after the first week, so that was kind of lame. Uh, and they're also very costly. They can be uh, more, most of them are over $150, which isn't good. Uh, and they're probably the main disadvantage is that they're more dangerous than wood bats. In 1998, the Crisco Greenball batting, stick, uh, batting cage study showed that aluminum bats can project balls slightly over 105 miles per hour, which is eight miles per hour faster than a wood bat can. So they're obviously harder to get out of the way of and can cause more damage. Uh, wood bats also have several advantages and disadvantages. Uh, www.baseballbats.net indicates that the standard requirements for wood baseball bats, uh, which are still followed today, were developed in 1869. So obviously a long time ago. 
Pros in the major leagues use uh, wood bats, and you'll very rarely see amateurs or little league kids using wood bats because they're so hard to use. However, they do have their advantages. Uh, wood bats are safer, uh, like as I said earlier, because um, they, they can't generate uh, as much power on the ball. So that's a big advantage in an era where uh, sports are trying to make things uh, more safe for athletes. Um, and they can teach you how to hit better because using a uh, aluminum bat, you can kind of just let the bat do the work for you. But when you use wood, you actually have to swing harder and uh, hit the ball good. Um, and they also have several disadvantages, obviously. Uh, they're heavier and harder to swing. Uh, they break pretty easily. And it's a harder to hit the ball further. And they kind of make games less exciting, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but it, as you can see, wood bats also have pros and cons. All right, in conclusion, hopefully all the points I've mentioned have made it easier to uh, see the differences between both kinds of bats. Baseball is America's pastime, and bats are an essential element to the game. Uh, the bat controversy is one of the most involved debates in sports, and you'll probably start hearing about it more uh, in the years to come. Um, and scientists keep weighing, weighing the pros and cons to see if college should switch to wood bats or even little leaguers because of people getting injured and uh, even killed by batted balls. So in the end, I think safety may be the most important thing, and we'll see how things end up in a couple of years. Yes.